taking the court with a spot in the U.S. Open final at stake. Sloan Stevens to serve to Venus Williams to get us underway. A set. Sloan Stevens to serve. Ready. Play. Start. Will the moment be too much for Stevens? Well, consider this is her second career Grand Slam semifinal appearance. She made her first when she was just 19 years old down at the Australian Open 2013. Oh. Oh. When we talk about just 19 years old, here she is in this one. All of 24 years old, but that near year away from competition. Uh, Sloan has talked so much over the last uh, six, eight weeks when we've seen her play tennis so well. How much that time away has changed her perspective and re-energized her passion for the game. Well, that has been the critical aspect for for Stevens. And sometimes when you're away with an injury, it takes you a minute sometimes to get the confidence back just physically in that body part. Confidence that it won't hurt. stress fracture in her left foot just after the Rio Olympics in the summer of 2016 that put Sloan uh, on the sidelines. She said she was a peg leg for a while. Yes. In other words, she had a cast <laughs> on her leg. Mm -hmm. uh, and that time away from the game was so good for her approach to the game. <laughs> Service hold to start the match for Sloan Stevens yeah, yeah, and they yeah. will change ends with Venus Williams to serve in a moment. Just to, to finish that story, the time away, Sloan spent time with family. Uh, she spent time with her boyfriend. She just was away from tennis for a little while. And then it, when it was time to come back to the game, all the things that a young player can get swallowed up in, uh, dealing with the fame, dealing with the time management, dealing with learning the, the stress and the grind of the tour. She had a whole new outlook on how to manage all of that. Now she means it when she says, I'm just going to come out here and have fun and play my game. And I think she simplified things. You know, she understands the importance of that, which allows you to focus fully. Talk about you know, Sloan and how well she moves, and you consider that stress fracture in her foot, and that is going to the heart of one of her strengths. That was also the difficulty with the injury. the challenge for Venus trying to get the ball by Stevens with her court coverage and foot speed and now sees a couple of unforced errors creeping in and a little opportunity for Stevens. Williams, her 19th appearance at the U.S. Open, of course, the 2000 and 2001 champion. One loss record entering the U.S. Open semifinal match tonight. 262 wins against 67 defeats. <laughs> to borrow a phrase, better than most. <laughs> <laughs> no question about it. And with experience that Venus has, second to none.
that's the shot that got her through some tough moments against Petra Kvitova in the previous round. Venus getting that serve going, started hitting her spots, getting a lot of first serves in. Good hands by the ball boy. Second service. Slam winner in this field has held serve to open on a beautiful night in New York City. It's very windy this afternoon, though. A lot of players have talked about the difference that the roof structure has made on the wind on play down on the court. Be interesting to see if it does become a factor in this match. Very gusty this afternoon. the halves of the court. This is one of the things to look for as the match goes on, the backhand of Stevens, which she has started hitting better, going for a little bit more, having more confidence on that shot, and she's been able to hit it up the line, open up the court. Good reply from Venus attacking and moving forward, and, and that's the area of the court that she can dominate in. It's so difficult to get the ball past her. She eats up so much space. I was speaking with Sloan Stevens coach Kamal Murray before the match, and, and I was asking him, what do you think the difference has been? She's playing so well, she's competing well in the middle parts of these matches, and he said, you know, they've just been working. He's been pushing her, he's been expecting more of her. They've worked a lot on her backhand when she had the boot on and she couldn't run. They, she would sit in the chair and hit backhands to spots, hit hundreds of backhands that she would have to make and get the extension and the confidence on. And it has definitely paid off. Fourteen. She's always had the forehand Stevens has, and that's been a big weapon for her, but now there's no other side for opponents to go to as often, and then she's competing better. Oh, Murray there. Sloan's hitting partner there on his right. Deuce. But this is going to be a, a different matchup. And, you know, certainly that match, previous match against Sevastova, where Sloan worked it out and she was more strategic about her ball placement, willing to go up the line to the Sevastova forehand. It's going to be a little different against Venus with her skill set. Back and down 3 1 in the third set to win that match in a third set tie break. You don't want to fall that far behind Venus. Advantage Stevens. I also asked him about her serve, Stevens' serve, and she wasn't hitting it as big. He said she's working for placement, and that's going to be a key in this match moving the serve around the box, getting a lot of first serves in. So a hold on serve for Sloane Stevens, and we are on serve early in this first set. Winner goes to the U.S. Open final. Early first set in the first of two U.S. Open semifinal matches tonight. 
Venus Williams Sloan Stevens on serve. And Venus to serve here at 1 2. Please find a seat quickly, thank you. Any seat for now? This is typically the case for the first match of the night session in the New York traffic. <laughs> folks still settling into their seats. Fifteen it's that way at the baseball and football games, too. It's just not in the server's line of vision there. Right. Very, <laughs> very different. People moving down yeah. the sides and the back of the court. With there, black hat, this is coach. Yeah. Big serve setting up. This is heavy serving to targets. Yeah. It's interesting as well, Alan, in speaking with David Witt, Venus's coach, and I was just curious as to where she was. And you know, she was serving so well. Her previous match, he stated that was the key, and the serve started glowing. But he also talked about Venus's forehand and how. And sometimes when she starts to get it too tight into her body or it gets late, that shot can, can cause her, her problems. She can throw more unforced errors in. But she's been swinging out so freely and feeling so good on that side. And, and that's also been a big part of her game, this tournament. Great point to get the early break of serve, being very solid from the ground. It was there for Venus. It did not clear the net, and the service break. The Sloan Stevens and an early three games to one lead in this match. Download the U.S. Open app for all the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news, celebrity sightings, and more. It's available in the iTunes and Google Play stores. So now can Stevens consolidate the service break? the backhand, the improvement in the Stevens game. Not settling for a rally ball, but immediately opening up the court with the down the line backhand. That's a very confident shot. Even Roger Federer talked last night about not having the confidence to go for those lines in his forehand and leaving too much court available. So confidence is a lot. We often hear Allen players talk about that, you know, how they have to trust their games in the big moments and when they're under pressure, when they most want to make that shot, can you make it? Can you physically execute? And Steven so far has been able to do that this tournament. Right on the line. 13, 15. It'll be interesting to see how much Venus tries to attack in this match. I and mean, that's a part of her game that is so imposing. But it will be difficult with a player with the foot speed of Stevens. You have to pick your times to move forward.
14-15. Just lifting up Venus on a couple of those shots. That back in there, not staying down and through. And so far, very intelligent service game from Stevens. Too many unforced errors from the Williams racket. Stevens in her third consecutive semifinal this summer in the U.S. Open Series, and now here in the U.S. Open, Toronto, Cincinnati, and New York. Out. Williams has challenged the ball on the right baseline. The ball is pulled out. First chase review of the match coming here. Certainly worth a challenge. That was very close. We play the ball. That's a difficult one for Venus <laughs> because she was in pretty good position in that point, but has to replay it. The smile at the moment, and now the refocus. So Sloane Stevens consolidates the service break. Stevens she has a four games to one lead in this first set at the U.S. Open. Arthur Ashe Stadium, New York City, and the semifinal of the women's singles competition at the U.S. Open. Venus Williams is down a break to Sloane Stevens in the first set. Serving here at 1-4. That is a big shot from Stevens. No hesitation. Look at the defense from Stevens to keep that point alive. Wow. Yep, and that, again, is the challenge. And you look at Venus, her ability to move in, but she was just a step slow. And Stevens putting her in a difficult position. Venus has dropped a couple of sets, three specifically, through five matches to Thank get you. here, but never the first set of any of her matches in the tournament so far. But I think this is the most nervous that Venus has looked at the start of a match. A little bit of tension there. Double fault to give Sloan Stevens a service break from Venus Williams. And now Stevens will serve 
for the first set. When every player gets nervous, even a seven-time Grand Slam champion like Venus Williams, it's indicative of how much these opportunities mean to her. Kamal Murray there looking fairly relaxed. Maybe on the outside. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> But the indicators for, for Venus not staying down and through her shots, the forehand and the backhand side. It's David Witt, her coach, looking on. And she has a high percentage of first serves, but not playing well behind her first serve. And then you look at Stevens on her side of the court, and she's just solid. She's not doing anything spectacular, but she's being willing she's been willing to hit that backhand up the line and open up the court and that's been critical in these early stages has all the answers right now. That's Sloan Stevens' mom there on the left, Sybil. So some set points to work with. But only needed one. 24 minutes for Sloan Stevens to win the first set of this U.S. Open semifinal over Venus Williams. Didn't see that one coming. Not that I didn't think Stevens would compete, but the number of unforced errors here from Venus Williams and a 6-1 set win in just 24 minutes. Well, 17, I mean, that's the big number here when we look at the stats. And then, of course, Stevens, the break points, she's capitalized on both opportunities. And she's just been better behind her serve. She's been clearer about trying to open up the court and obviously fewer unforced errors and a positive differential with six winners. Second set, Williams to serve. You both. Ready for the second set, Venus Williams serving. She's down a set to Sloane Stevens in this U.S. Open semifinal. That's in. Love you, team. How about that? The wheels Just of Stevens. Just getting to that shot. But having the presence of mind here to go for the lob, that's not often the first play in a player's mind. And over Venus. Mm. Love 30. And it's just all going badly right now for Venus. Standing straight up on that backhand, not driving through it. And the crowd trying to pick her up. Thank you. Much better from Venus. So used to saying Venus because both she and Serena have been yeah. in tournaments all the time, but yep. that's beautifully hit. Mm -hmm. 
second double fall to the match for Venus Williams. Consider this, 74 times in Grand Slam play, Venus Williams has lost the first set. Her record in those matches, 25 wins, 49 losses. Not a good sign. As they like to say on Wall Street nearby, past performance does not guarantee future results. That is absolutely true. <laughs> and she did win 25 times. That's so right. this could certainly be turned around. There is still a lot of tennis left to be played, especially if Venus starts hitting like that. Living on the edge. Yes, yes, yes. Back even. Very obvious the first serve is a key for Venus. When she lands her first serve in, she's winning at least half the points. When she doesn't, she's not winning many. Just two of seven second serve point wins in the match for Venus. Well done by Stevens. Didn't panic there with Venus coming in. Stayed down and threw on that backhand. Great angle. Found some open space and got the ball there. Another break point chance. And a chance on Venus's second serve. That's the type of hitting we saw yes. with Venus in the Petra Kvitova match. She got down and drove through her shots. She was hitting her targets, giving herself big margins. Just hasn't done that enough thus far tonight. Three break points saved in this game for Venus. an important hold for Venus for a number of reasons obviously to change the momentum of that first set but also wants to stay on serve early on put a little pressure in this match It's just interesting, though, when you see a point like that, how well Stevens is defending. But Venus had a couple of opportunities there to move in and take the ball out of the air where Stevens was well behind the baseline. Just doesn't look confident enough to do that right now. Venus has been in five times this match. And she's only won one of those five points. So another chance for Williams to close out this service game and hold.
have to imagine Stevens, I mean, she has to be feeling more and more belief, the more opportunities she gives herself. And she is making Venus have to hit some of her best shots to win a point. Yeah, it's obvious nothing's coming easily for Venus tonight, both from her opponent and just having one of those nights to start with. Save three break points. Had to work hard for it, but got a service hold to start the second set. Venus Williams. Well, what's been great about watching Venus over these years is you've seen her work through matches like this where she didn't necessarily start out well, but she found her range and found her groove, trying to do so again tonight. But it's been impressive the way Stevens has started out, and it was one of the questions I asked her coach as well. You know, what do you think about nerves? Is she going to be more nervous for this match just because of everything that's involved, and he said, no, actually she was more nervous against Sevastova yep. because the uncertainty, the way Sevastova could mix it up and change up the space, the, the pace and the spins. Plus she had never played in this, exactly, in this stadium. Exactly. Until that match the other day. But he said she was actually more relaxed for this match and it's actually shown. You see her coming out. She's very calm, even keel, and she's been helped along by Venus with the misses. Yep. But she has still executed when she's needed to. Oh. 15. But this is a critical juncture where you have to maintain your focus, maintain the level of intensity. And maintain your serve. And maintain your serve. Sloane Stevens had been winning 75% of the points on her second serve to this point in the match. But Venus Williams teed, up, teed that one up and sent it to the photo bunker. Great part about Venus holding serve in that last game and serving first now is that she can swing away at some returns, relax just enough to possibly get the early break in this second set. A couple of break points to work with for Venus Williams. Very nicely done by Stevens. Not allowing Venus to reset that point. Still a break point against her serve. Double fault and a service break to Venus Williams, who leads two games to love in this second set. And this is tennis. They have lost the first set, but the second set, it's all even. And now it's Venus with a little bit of momentum serving to consolidate the break of serve. Thank you. 
Mm. And you can just feel the added confidence from Venus. A little more positive energy. Her body language is a bit better. And she's finding the corners of the court with power. Well, she's hitting more for direction, and she seems clearer about how she wants these points to evolve and how she's trying to open up the court. The other day against Sevastova, this uh, large stadium filled with fans pulling for Sloan Stevens. Now while she's getting support, clearly Venus is the favorite of the fans. And I'm wondering how that might affect Stevens as the building continues to fill. Service hold to love. Venus Williams now has a three games to love lead in this second set. Well, you talk about how the crowd may affect Stevens as it goes on and if the crowd is, is so pro-Venus. I think Venus losing that first set made her a little bit of the underdog and now the crowd wants her to get into this match. They want to see a competitive, hard-fought hard semifinal. And they are solidly behind Venus right now. And I, I just base that based on noise. Yeah, you, you can know. hear it. Yeah. And, but they um, want her to, they don't want to see a one-sided match. They want yeah. her to get into this yeah. and play her best tennis. But clearly, one of the most popular players. Yes. And is going to get the better side of the support, no matter how Absolutely. much the people want to see Sloane Stevens do well. She's still playing Venus Williams. And I think Venus deserves that. Yeah. You know, she oh, has, yeah. she has been it. a great <laughs> champion. And she has fought back, fought through some difficult years and she's back stronger this year and has continued to improve and it's just a great story and yeah. so many fans appreciate the way she has been such a steady voice over the years for herself and for the sport but it's Sorry. now on Stevens now to adjust here Interesting turnaround from the first set to the second. And a really crucial part of the match right now for Sloane Stevens after winning the first set six games to one. Now finding herself behind three games to love to Venus Williams in the second set and needs to needs to show some answers here. That's a good serve. That's a good one. Great placement. But she has to take care of her serve now and keep herself within range in this second set. And for Stevens, winning her serve would be the result. But Venus is playing better now. She's cleaned up the unforced error. She's more focused. And she's opening up the court and being more aggressive, dictating. So Stevens now has to look for ways that she can dictate and turn the tables a little bit. Wasn't sure if she was going to challenge that one or not. Talking about, you know, Venus cleaning up her game mm -hmm. in this set as well. A 20, what, 17 unforced errors in that first set. Just four in this second for Venus. So she's fixed what her flaws were. 
Well, and now she has eight winners as well. She had just five yeah. in that first set, so a big difference. Still a break point that Stevens faces here at Love 3 in this set. That's beautiful play. Classic Venus Williams. For love, Venus Williams on a roll in set number two. Full Everything extension. going her way. Oh, it's great. And that backhand set it up, and she moved in beautifully. Reminder, usopen.org is your online home for point-by-point -point live scoring and real-time stats and draws. Visit the official tournament site, usopen.org. Talked a lot about Sloane Stevens' journey back from injury. Of course, Venus Williams' story, well documented. Uh, so much success for so long, then struggling to deal with the effects of Sjogren's disease, the uh, autoimmune syndrome that she found ways to compensate for and adjust to. When she went to that final in January at the Australian Open, it was her first major singles final since Wimbledon 2009. And Remarkable. now she's trying to get into her third this year. Sloan Stevens' boyfriend coming in for the match. 14, 15. Five games to love Venus Williams in this second Venus set. Five games to love second set. First set, Stevens. What a turnaround. You talk about spinning 180 degrees between <laughs> set one and set two. Almost mirror opposites yeah. of each other. The, 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 the sarcastic side of me wants to say they didn't tell me they told Venus the match would start at 730 <laughs> instead of 710 and for Sloan it's like um, yeah, hey it's a three set match not one she hasn't gotten into the high gear yet Stevens. Yeah. she started off and she did just what she needed to do to win that first set a lot of unforced errors from Venus and Stevens was just solid and steady Venus is now playing better she's much more aggressive and Stevens hasn't raised her gear. She's still kind of in second gear from the first set, and she's got to find a way to make the adjustment. Well, and she had her opportunities in this set, too. Remember, Venus had to save three break points in the very first game of this set. That was big. And, and did it. She did, and helped by a couple of big serves. Venus was able to squeak out of that game and all of a sudden gain a little bit of confidence and momentum that she took into breaking Steven's serve the next game. It's all in one city, but it is a tale of two sets. As Sloane Stevens won the first set over Venus Williams 6-1. Now Williams leading 5-love in the second with the winner 
booking a place in the U.S. Open final on Saturday. So it's all on Sloan Stevens here to start finding some answers. If nothing else, to set her up for some confidence for the third set. That's exactly right. And just gain the belief that she can start the third set in a positive fashion. Needs to hold here and make a little bit of a stand. And that's what we didn't see very much of in the first set from Venus. But she has been very effective here in the second set. Coming in on some big points. And you're going to get past. You're going to lose some of those points moving forward. The key is to make the move. What a high level point from both players. Now we're seeing Stevens maybe move into that higher gear here. More solid from the ground, a little more methodical, but taking her openings up the line and hitting with great depth. Terrific. Yeah. That's good stuff there. Not the best Fourteen. position to drop shot from, but Venus still with the speed and the anticipation. Thank you. Here also, Venus getting into her shots more, putting more speed and pace on these ground strokes. They're driving Stevens back and forcing the mistake. What a get by Venus. Out wide on the forehand side. Nice angle from Stevens, but Venus does her one better. So here's what I'm thinking. If both players bring the level of play we've seen in this game to the third set, it's going to be awesome. Absolutely would be. So a set point for Venus.
Six love. Venus Williams wins the second set and will play a third in the U.S. Open semifinal. Thirty minutes for a six love set winner for Venus Williams. She lost the first set 6-1 in 24 minutes. Well, big difference <laughs> in this second set for Venus. We just look at the percentage of points won on first serve and on second serve. She started playing much better behind her serve, and it was also helped in large part by the unforced errors. Only eight in this set versus 17 in the first set, and 11 winners versus only five winners in the first set. So that was the huge turnaround, and it allowed Venus to break the Stevens serve all three times in the second set. And flip the script on that for Stevens as well. Only five uh, unforced errors in the first set, 10 in the second. So this third set will be interesting. I thought Stevens played better in that sixth game Absolutely. of the set that she played the entire set to that point. So it's why I say if, if they could bring that level of play to this third set, it could be really interesting to see the outcome of this match. And that's the type of tennis we would have expected in yeah. this match. I mean, All the way that's through. Exactly, from start to finish. And, you know, it, first set, Venus was a bit slow and sluggish. The second set, Stevens, she didn't quite adjust quickly enough and raise her level. But here in the third, if that last game of the second is an indicator, here in the third, if they both start at that level, it's just going to be a stretch run to the finish. Time. But I do think the ability to come in and take balls out of the air and eat up so much court, that's an advantage for Venus that she needs to bring to bear. So here we go with a third set in this U.S. Open women's semifinal. Final set. Williams to serve. Winner plays on Saturday against Please either Coco Vandeweghe or Madison Keys. That one's still to come tonight Boy, here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Fourth double fault of the match for Venus Williams. Not the way she wanted to start the decider. Court coverage from Venus. 30, Anticipating. Opportunity for Stevens at the start of this third and deciding set. B. 
Thank you. Service break to start the third, and another twist of plot in tonight's match in the U.S. Open. Well, that was a, an excellent first game, excellent return game, and that last point from Stevens. Instead of going for the lines and maybe missing, she went right at Venus. Great way to close it out. You know, Alan, one of the things I like about a six-love set is Sometimes it's easier to forget about it and put it out of your mind. Yeah. It doesn't hurt as much because it wasn't a long, drawn-out set where you had opportunities that you missed out on. So for Stevens, maybe it's easier for her to reset in this beginning of the third. How huge would it be for Sloane Stevens if she can win this service game and get a two-game lead in this third set on Venus Williams? Love 15. But Stevens can't afford to get tentative here. That backhand definitely not aggressively hit. Didn't swing out on it. Perfect play from Venus, did everything 15. right but execute on the volley. Set it up beautifully, maybe thinking about the defensive skills of Stevens, pulling that ball wide as a result. Kind of feel like this match has reached the grinding stage. It's about competing right now. Finding ways to win these important points. It is Venus Williams with a couple of great points to get back on serve. Quality stuff. That's, that's just excellent. Point. Absolutely. Stevens is not panicking, 13, 14. staying calm. But still facing a break point.
Opportunity was there. Instead, we're even again. But you could just sense the speed of Stevens, that additional pressure she was putting on Venus on that forehand. She was going to close the court off, and it created the miss. Thank you. Chance to close it out and get a two-game lead in this third set for Sloane Stevens. Still winning the majority of points on her second serve, but just over a majority. Sloan Stevens saves two break points to get a two-game lead in the third set. What a rally. Well, Stevens has moved up a couple Stevens of gears here in this third set. And is paying the price in the teeth of these rallies. Terrific tennis. So now, Venus Williams. Thank you. At a deficit as she pursues another U.S. Open final. Stevens has done such a good job when Venus has moved forward and attacked. She's put Venus in difficult spots, hasn't gone for the outright pass or let it create the miss. it has to do with the foot speed of Stevens. She's been able to catch up to more of Venus's approach shots. Now it's Venus under pressure at Love 30. Sloane Stevens started this summer ranked 934th in the world. By reaching this semifinal, she will return to the top 35 in the rankings after the incredible summer that she's had. Venus fighting back. There's Venus looking to return to the top five as a result of her run in this U.S. Open. Maybe higher if she can win it all. Showing the heart of a champion. Well, this may be the biggest save 
of the match thus far if Venus can hold serve here. Crucial not to go down three love, and two breaks of serve. Saw the open court, Venus did, just pulled off of the forehand. And Stevens almost daring her to go into the open court. She is caught up with so many of those balls. One of the biggest serves of the match for Venus. One, two, Williams fighting back in this third set. Got a good one in Arthur Ashe Stadium tonight at the U.S. Open. You see the scores in the first two sets, almost mirror opposites. And now Sloan Stevens with an early service break on Venus Williams. Venus just getting a tough service hold. And Stevens serves at 2-1. Winner to the finals. Thank you, players already. Wow. That's nice hit, nicely hit return. But it'd be interesting to see if Venus tries to come in more. And that's still an area that she hasn't used as much in this match. And when she has come in, she's waited for the second or third opportunity within points. And she's allowed Stevens to gear up for it instead of just immediately attacking at the first opening. See if Chase Review supports Sloan Stevens' look this, or this looked the call. Smack on the line. Absolutely. So a challenge here for Stevens to try and rally back again. In her last service game, Stevens fought off two break points to hold serve, but now she needs to do even better than that here. Just a little more depth on those shots, but continuing to impart the necessary spin. Kamal Murray trying to encourage his pupil. It was called out at the far end. And Venus Williams will challenge. So let's see what Chase Review says. Oh, and that's in. Venus has to be thinking, what is going on? That's the second shot she's hit off the back of the line that's been corrected. So 
She so very rarely complains, Venus Williams. So they'll play it again. She's still up two break points here. So close. That's that was, Venus complaining. That was, that's that's yeah, that her was, complaining face. That was her reaction after the review <laughs> showed the ball caught the line, I believe. <laughs> it was, yes. Still a break point for Williams. Graphic Allen, nine shots or more, the yep. points favor Stevens. So another three break points saved for Sloan Stevens. And I should say nine shots or more. Yeah. Just a little tension in Stevens, not being willing to work that point like she did the last one. She saved three break points. Is four too much to ask? Wide. Venus Williams gets the service break, and we're even at two games apiece in this third set. Two games all, final sets. Bet the social media conversation on this one is buzzing. Stay connected to the U.S. Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. Join the conversation with hashtag US Open. Yes, a fourth break point save was too much to ask in that game, so... Sloan Stevens gives the service break back. Thank you. Two, two. Just great to see the chess match that's going on during some of these points. Both players fencing for positioning, trying to outmaneuver the other. It's the second time in the match that's happened where Stevens got a ball back that was deeper than Venus could catch up to. Well, and that lob was thrown up very high, and Venus didn't time it, didn't get the racket 
and the arm up quickly enough. Thank you. Please. Serve out wide. Stevens couldn't get it back in play. Still got a small opening here. Oh, nice serve by Venus. Took a lot off that serve, but went for the body into the left hip of Stevens. He was a bit indecisive on whether to take that on the forehand or backhand side. Foot fault call on Venus Williams, second time in this match. She had a couple of those the other night. I think, like, what, four? Maybe? Three or four. Yeah. Great ball by Stevens into the corner. And it's so difficult to read that ball. It's a rally ball. Venus maybe thinks she's neutral, and Stevens just opens up the court. And opens up a break opportunity here at 30-40. That's, Not so fast. That's a huge serve. <laughs> at a huge time in this match. And it's not Venus's fastest. Yeah, it's close to it, it's up but there. it wasn't her fastest. Well, that's a good play. And that's what we were kind of talking about, what I was mentioning coming in on the first opportunity. Not allowing Stevens to reset in the middle of the point. Got Stevens out wide on the backhand and took advantage. Game point, Williams. One struggle that Venus occasionally has on serve, it's the double faults that creep in at times. Thank you. would be a great time for a first serve. Fights off a break point and a hold of serve for Venus Williams. Three games to two, Williams, third Williams set. Three games to two, final sentence. Little tension, little drama building here inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. Five games into the third set of a U.S. Open semifinal. Sloan Stevens serving here. She had an opportunity to get a service break on Thank Venus you, Williams. Already. Couldn't convert. She also was broken in her last service game. Needs a strong one here. 
15. Well, you were talking, Alan, about who would blink first. And for Stevens, she has to be careful to not get too tentative. Venus is playing well. And you know now you just have to match Venus's intensity level and compete in some of these points. Stevens has done a good job defensively, but sometimes you have an opportunity to keep being aggressive from the beginning of points, and she has to take those opportunities now. She's playing against a Venus that is at a higher level in this third set, and the second set as well. Next few minutes in this match may be the real turning point here. That's a much better point, much better positioning, more aggressive, staying on the baseline. Stevens did from the first ball. He's got to take a few more hits like that one. What a strike. That's just too good. 15, Two break 15. points for Venus Williams. Massively struck forehand. That's a good reply from Stevens. One saved, but still facing another break point. Yeah, the volley was wide. And it, again, it was the right move. And Venus just didn't attack this volley. Tried to hit a little touch shot, which Stevens was in plenty of time to get to if it had bounced in. So two more break points saved. Remember, she saved three in her last service game, Stevens did, but gave Williams a fourth, and Venus cashed in. And if Stevens can get out of this game with the hold, she would be very fortunate and in great position. Has just battled to stay in contention here. Fighting back. Three all. Sloan's mother, Sybil. Her entire team is on their feet, on their feet very often, trying to give her that support. They know this is the moment at hand.
fighting for a spot in the finals of the U.S. Open. Great serve. The 89 mile an hour spinner out the side door. of misses from Venus. It's been a while since we've seen two misses in a row from her. If you weren't with us earlier, had an unforced error filled first set when she lost 6-1. Really righted that ship since. Beautiful. That's a great adjustment. Better contact point and stayed down and through that ball much better. Both players have had their times tonight where their accuracy has just been precision. And they've had their moments tonight, both players, where it's gotten wobbly. Yeah, just a little over anxious, and that is the side of Williams that is not quite as steady under pressure. So a break opportunity here for Sloan Stevens. Can she cash in? difficult to handle a body serve coming with that much pace two of them in a row Stevens just stood there for a second staring at her box like I oh can't boy. believe it yeah <laughs> the pressure of Stevens' foot speed, closing off the court, shrinking the court. And Venus feeling like maybe she has very little court to hit into. It's been one of the great things about this match is both these players' defense. Been awesome to watch. Venus has only won one of eight points on her second serve in this set.
Stevens battling. Advantage Stevens. And she is so quick around the court. Some massive shots from Venus that would have been winners against any other player. Thank you. Players are ready. So an, another Please. opportunity here for Sloan Stevens. It's a great reply from Venus. This, be this game becoming more and more important the longer it goes. match becoming more and more physical the longer it goes these are long drawn out points both players hitting the ball very hard with great depth break point for Stevens Yet again, the picture in this third set changes. Sloane Stevens breaks Venus Williams' serve. She leads 4-3 in the third. Third set, first of two women's semifinals tonight at the U.S. Open. And this one's turning into a thriller. Sloane Stevens has just broken Venus Williams' serve. She'll try to consolidate here at 4-3. Thank you. Thank you. So Stevens won the first two games of this third set. Venus came back to take the next three games and go up 3-2. And then it's Sloan who have, who's won the last couple of games and has a bit of the momentum. Good first point from Venus trying to break back. Love the team. In each of her service games in this set, Sloane Stevens has fallen behind. And I know I said this before, but I'll say it again. You just can't keep giving a player like Venus Williams too many opportunities. She's going to cash in. That's a good serve. And the other yep. problem, Alan, with playing from behind constantly is you know, it adds a level of tension in your game, and you can't play as freely. Yeah.
Radio. Nice fight back to even for Stevens. Pun unintended. <laughs> Sometimes those things just happen. What can I say? I was going to go with it. Table turn this time. Sometimes that's the best option. What your opponent is doing to you, do back to them. Twice in the match, Sloan hit a drop shot. Venus charged and dumped it into the net. This time, it sets up a break point for Venus Williams. Stevens still winning 64% of the points on her second serve in this set. Let's see. But that does leave another 36%. Oh. Service break, Venus. I see your break, and I'll raise you one. And this All-American semifinal is even at four games apiece. Four games all final It's a great fight back by Venus, getting more aggressive in the heart of this game. Had enough things happen in this third set. You keep wondering what will be that moment where the match turns. And every time something happens, there's another answer back. Oh, that's well done by Stevens. Venus hesitated just Did slightly, you? in part. Probably because of the lobs that Stevens has been able to hit as well. Had just a little too much time and found that angle. With real precision. Seen Venus hit that serve out wide off pace. That one carried a little more. Stevens couldn't put it back in play. Third double fault of this set for Venus Williams. When she lands the first serve in, she's winning a lot of the points, but when she doesn't, one Please, win in 10 second serve points for Venus. difference when Venus is throwing in second serve Stevens can really get into points she's not hitting winners off of second serves she is very methodical another break point here for Stevens
So a challenge here. And let's see what Chase Review says. Unbelievable. He's in. <laughs> so Venus is given the point. And a break point saved, and so we're back to even. Third time tonight Venus has challenged the call, and she's been right on all of them. Venus having to get down and work these points. Almost impossible to hit through Stone Stevens. Venus coming up with the point in the end. Five four, Venus Williams, a game away from another U.S. Open final. The tenth game of the third and deciding set of this semifinal match at the U.S. Open. Sloane Stevens to serve, needing to hold here to keep the match alive. Is this where experience begins to show, or can Stevens stay free enough to continue swinging away? One of the trends of the match, the longer rallies have favored Sloan Stevens. And that certainly was a lengthy one. 17 shots. Very heavy point from both players. A shot from Venus. 15. And right here, Sloan manages to get this return back that was blasted at her. Venus, one better. Put that one on the highlight reel. Smart by Stevens, though, to come right back to the line and get a first serve in. Nullify that previous point. Yeah, that's big time hitting. Forehand blast down the line. And evens this game up at 30 apiece. 
We've seen Venus unload a couple of times in this third set where it's just wow. back and enjoy this tennis right now. Five all in the third. And a challenge here. Yeah, that was definitely on the line. Chase review. Good. Yeah. So five games apiece. Five third games set. Williams has two challenges remaining. Venus was two points from the match, and Stevens, she just took that game. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. Is there any part of the court that these two players can't get to? Points in a row of amazing saves by Sloane Stevens. Love 13. I think four. It started with that passing shot at 30 all the previous game. And she is on fire right now. Thank you, players are ready. Now three break points for Sloane Stevens to set herself up. 
in command of this third set. But both players have given a lot of break opportunities to their opponent and managed to make some great saves. Game Stevens. She'll serve for the match and a spot in the U.S. Open final in a minute. Just over two hours into this semifinal match at the U.S. Open and about to play the 12th game of the third set. Will this be the decider or will we see a tiebreak? Sloan Stevens just broke Venus Williams' serve to love. Now serves for the match. has lost the last seven points now. the first volley. 15 -0. And if you're Stevens, I mean, this is the type of point you want to force Venus to play if she's going to get out of this game. High level stuff. Couldn't get enough air on that one. Remember, she's managed to lob a couple of those over Venus's head. Two points away for Stevens. Williams needs another rally. She's had a few in this match already. points for Sloan Stevens. Stevens will play for the U.S. Open Championship on Saturday. What a match. One of the hottest young stars of the summer in tennis. 
against one of the greatest of all time. And Venus Williams leaves the court a match short of the U.S. Open final. Venus, such a champion. And so many Grand Slam titles have gone, have had to go through her. And she really made Stevens raise the level of her play and play some of her best tennis. And in the end, it was Stevens who won that match. Yeah. The last two points of her service game at 5-4 or 4-5. And then on Venus's serve, four straight points to give herself an opportunity to serve for the match. I mean, she competed so well. Sloan, the first thing you did when you walked out here is you just went, whew. Your first U.S. Open final. What does the moment mean? I have no words to describe what I'm feeling, what it took to get here. Just the journey I've been on all, I mean, it's just, I have no words. Four and a half weeks ago, you've heard it all tournament, your ranking above 930 in the world. How do you explain it? I have no idea. You, you're <laughs> <laughs> Your guess is just as good as mine. Um, when I started my comeback, if someone told me I was going to make two semis in a Grand Slam final, I would have probably just passed out because that's what I'm ready to do now. But <laughs> I just, it's incredible. I, have, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how I got here. Just hard work. That's it. After the first two sets, which went by in such lopsided fashion for each of you, how do you describe what changed in the overall level of play between the two of you in that third set, and what did it require? Um, it just required a lot of fight, a lot of grit. Um, I knew if I just stayed with it and hung tough and played my game as best as I could and didn't get too down on myself, I would have a few opportunities, and that's just what I did. And in the third set, we played some incredible points. Um, hopefully, we make Sports Center tomorrow, um, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> but I just worked my tail off and ran every ball down and tried to get my racket on every ball, and in the finals, we are. I think we can assure Sports Center will happen. That, that's a definite. When your competitor walked off the court, you stood up, as so many else did here, and applauded as Venus Williams left this court. A few words about who you face tonight. About Venus? <laughs> um, I'm on honestly just honored to be able to play at the same time as her. One of the greatest to ever play our game. Um, one of the most graceful, elegant. I mean, anything nice, everything nice to say about Venus. Honestly, she's one of the greatest competitors. And I'm just honored that I was able to share the court with her tonight and honored that I've been able to play at the same time as her. Finally, Sloan, you heard and answered, heard the question so often about the overall state of American tennis. What does this night represent for American tennis on the women's side? Um, for American tennis, there's no, there's no question mark. The proof is in the pudding, and it's all facts. So see it how you want it. And American tennis, here we are. Sloan Stevens into the US Open final.